Hello, everybody, and welcome to Carly and Harris's Mountain Cheek themed rehearsal dinner. But everybody's looking wonderful, and it's going to be an incredible evening. Wow. I can't believe it. I really can't. I never, in a million years, thought we'd see the day that you guys would choose Drew to MC this thing over me. Seeing all of our friends and family here together in this amazing setting, which is truly special. This is overwhelming for me, watching my son getting married and welcoming the daughter we always wished for. Just shy of 10 years ago, a college date party set up led to the best thing that I could ever imagine in my entire life, our love. When I think back, a montage plays in my head of long deep talks on the couch in your frat room, getting to know every little thing about each other while gazing lovingly into each other's eyes and finally deciding that saying, I'm obsessed with you over and over was no longer going to cut it. This was love. Carly, you were always meant to be. I cannot believe we didn't meet in the first 19 years of my life, despite the universe quite obviously pushing us towards each other. Right from the start, my feelings for you were different than anything I felt in the past. I was immediately comfortable with you. It felt so effortless. Carly, I remember how bummed Harris was that summer when you decided to go back to camp as a counselor. But when he drove up to visit on your days off, I thought, he's gonna make a good husband. Carly and Harris, we have linked these two together for almost 10 years at this point. I remember the first night I met Harris, and I thought to myself, this is a great guy. It was just a joy, just brightened my heart every single day, truly brightened my heart. We are so proud of you for everything you do. Growing up, although I was the cuter one, Carly brought the laughs. Chatty, chatty, chatty. So much so that I decided not to talk because you did enough of that for the both of us. Growing up with Carly, people always assumed that she was a goody two-shoes. Carly is still as she once when we were nine, the jokester of the group. I met Teets. Harris's alter ego who blossomed freshman year of college. We used to put on the boxing gloves and go a few rounds in the living room, duct taping Harris's right arm to his body. He still whooped my ass with his left. Many years, we have learned that Harris is loyal, kind, and above all, unapologetically decisive. The entire fraternity received an email with the subject, Teats, and with the body of the email saying simply, is done. I've been counting down to this weekend. After 10 years of saying, one day at Carly and Harris's wedding, it's finally here. Ready, excited, let's do this thing. Couldn't be more excited. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking This is not at all what I saw what through the car. Really? <laughs> Carly's annoyingly humble. She excels in nearly everything she does, yet she never brags or even brings up all she's accomplished. It's not often you can so visibly see how much love someone has for another, but that's truly the case for Carly and Harris. Harris, thank you for treating my sister with love and sincerity for all these years. Congratulations to you both. You always show me how it's supposed to be done. 
It's always left me wondering how other people have navigated life without the guidance of an older brother like Harris. Harris, we couldn't have gotten luckier to have you in our family. love everything about you. Your smile, your laugh, the way your eyes twinkle when you look up at me, the way you hold my hand while I drive, the way your head fits perfectly under my chin. I loved your intellect and quick wit. I love being weird together. Random fans time, belting songs on the top of our or your lungs with the actual lyrics serving only as a guideline, <laughs> conversing in our own bizarre language, I love watching you watch Michigan football. <laughs> I love that you insist on sleeping closest to the door, no matter where we are, to protect me. I love your on-the-fly song lyrics about me. I love your calm demeanor, driven nature, your kind heart, and the importance that you place on family. I promise to always protect you and our family. There is not and will never be anything more important. I promise to be a role model to our children, showing them how to treat their partner with love, respect, kindness, and dignity. I am so lucky to have you in my life as my partner and best friend, and I will never take it for granted. I love you so much, and I'm so excited to be your husband in the next chapter. I promise to put our marriage and our future family above all else. You are my best friend the love of my life, my soulmate, and my favorite person in the entire world. And I vow to never take for granted this special, once-in-a-lifetime kind of love. It's you and me forever. I love you. Florence of the Laws of the State of New York, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You step on my butts. Harris and Carly spent the entire Michigan football run with Carly Instagramming every moment and every play that, that happened. But through it all, one thing remains abundantly clear. To know Carly is to adore her. Carly is still the voice of reason the one on whom we always rely. It's been the biggest honor growing up with you. Let's all raise a glass to this amazing couple. You and Harris were made for each other. Carly and Harris, you're gonna have the most incredible life together and the love and care that you have for each other is enviable. And I'm so excited to be a small part of your future together. I love you guys. In Carly, Harris has found his perfect match. Car, there are no words to express how much we all love you and Harris. But for now, if you could all raise a glass. And cheers to Harris, Carly, Teets. Cheers to the best couple, we love you both. found Carly. I'm happy Carly found you. Seriously, mazel tov. Congratulations. You two are the best. And my one closing remark is, what took you so long? <laughs>